Hey, Gramps. You were protecting this place for years and years, right? That I was. Five hundred of them, in fact. But all that time, I was a kid in Funset. I never noticed you doing anything like that. Well, things have been quiet for the past few centuries. Given two hundred years or so, rumors pass into legend, and people stop taking them so seriously. Long ago, drivers used to enter this place quite often, but their numbers have long since fallen off. Besides, the entrance itself will not open for any but a Leftherian. And sad though it may be, the population of Fonset is on the decline. Fewer and fewer people are even aware of this place. I see. So you actually had work to do back in the day, eh? I'm no layabout now, either. I was the one who told you of this place, if you recall. Sure, what else? Honestly, Nia, you're just like Corinne when she was younger. Ha! <laughs> really? I'm not sure if that's a compliment. She was quite the little firecracker. Even came in here once, as a child. Whoa, pretty gutsy. Though she turned back upon reaching the bridge, she must have sensed that this was a place to be feared. It's protected by the village's guardian spirit, after all. Anyone in Fonset would know it's not a place to enter lightly. To fear and to respect are two sides of the same coin, you know. The people of Fonset understand the importance of this place on an instinctive level. Only thanks to you, Gramps. You've been protecting this place for centuries, right? I think it's probably thanks to you that the villagers have such powerful respect for the village guardian. Yeah. You can't have respect without someone to keep it alive. If it were not for the Titan Azurda, this place may truly have been forgotten by the world completely. Well, I don't think anyone's put it to me quite like that before. You've done good these past 500 years. Yeah. Good job, Gramps. Oh. More than anything, at times like this, I just feel thankful that I'm able to travel with you all in this form. If I'd remained in my old body, I might never have come here and heard those words. I thought you were going to say something profound, not just bask in the praise. <laughs> How would outsiders feel about it? People from outside of Fonset Village. None have entered in recent years, but 400 years ago, visitors did sometimes venture in here with Fonset youths. It seems people from outside see this place as little more than another ruin to be explored. I tried to talk them out of entering, but they never appreciated my words. Still, I didn't feel it was right to stop them by force. They stood precious little chance of reaching the end, at any rate. Thus it was that many adventurers entered, never to return. I dare say their sacrifice also contributed to the healthy respect the villagers now hold for this place. Yeah. You don't treat a ruin lightly when folks go in and never come out. I don't doubt that that is indeed a part of it. You've been watching for 500 years as all this stuff happened, right? I guess that must have been tough going. Sorry for being all disrespectful and stuff before. No need to apologize, Nia. We're all quite used to your foul mouth at this point. And we know you have a kind heart underneath. <sighs> I want to make a snappy comeback, but that would ruin my apology. 